back in the 18th century, travellers were already talking about burning stones along the coast of Estonia, oil shale. Nowadays, it's mined in both open pits and underground, and either fed directly to power plants or processed to oil. Transporting it kilometres over land has always been a challenge, because the processing plants and power stations are sometimes located a distance away from the deposits. When VKG, the Estonian oil processing group Virokimia, was planning its new shale mine, 12 kilometers of forest had to be overcome. Uh, actually, we had two traditional options. One is the railroad, what is mainly used right now in our fa uh, factories. Another option is the road transportation. But then suddenly I personally thought that maybe there are another ways. And uh, then we came to this crazy idea to put long overland conveyor and then obviously I started to investigate is such kind of uh, do, does such kind of things exist where they exist how they operate it and who built them just such conveyor systems are built by ThyssenKrupp resource technologies However, in conducting the feasibility study, which had initially been commissioned, even our experts were confronted by technological challenges. Not because of the distance, but on one single conveyor over a distance of 12 kilometers, negotiating seven curves with a minimum radius of 1,000 meters and crossing seven bridges totaling 1.7 kilometers to intend to transport 700 metric tons of oil shale per hour, that had never never been attempted before. A specially developed software calculated the necessary angle of inclination of each of the 12,500 idler stands to ensure that even at a speed of 4 meters per second, the belt and material always stay on track through the curves. And in the end, the study showed it was possible. We knew generally how much it will cost, and the cost of that was more than we thought in the beginning. However, uh, comparing with the operational costs of such kind of system, with the other options what they have, it was carts or railroad. Uh, the conveyor is obviously more economic. But not only. Conveyor is also the most economic, uh, environment-friendly uh, way of transportation of such kind of material. And that doesn't only apply to the lower CO2 emissions in comparison with truck or rail transport. To overcome local challenges, such as those here in Estonia, it would be hard to find a more flexible and cost-effective system than a conveyor. At this point, the belt crosses a wildlife trail. Further on, it passes over rail tracks and roads. The glittering silvery covers elegantly wind their way through the forest, one single conveyor over more than 12 kilometers long. Close to residential areas, noise must be limited to an absolute minimum. No problem. Additional housing, as well as rollers designed to run quietly, reduce the noise emission, an audible difference. In operation, belt and material can reach a total load of nearly a thousand tons over the 12 kilometers. Three frequency controlled motors with a power output of 560 kilowatt each drive the belt via correspondingly sized gears. ThyssenKrupp Resource Technologies, with its years of experience, chose top of the line component suppliers. For instance, Phoenix manufactured the conveyor belt in 54 sections, each 470 meters long. On site, vulcanizers joined the individual belts to an open length of 25 kilometers for the way there and back. SEW Eurodrive designed and produced the quality gears, essential for the system's smooth operation for years to come. The drives are electronically controlled and synchronized, paramount for precise belt tensioning during startup. up 
And these are the ingeniously inclined idler stands, which keep the belt and material on track at all speeds and modes of operation, in every curve, even with a drag of 1.7 megawatt for a thousand tons of belting and product. A challenge mastered. One single long distance conveyor with seven curves and seven bridges for oil shale transport in Estonia. Another success story for ThyssenKrupp Resource Technologies.